Welcome to Keeping It Clean. Today, we're going to be sanitizing your cellular telephone, your mouse, and your keyboard. We will also be looking at a laptop. The first device we have is a typical iPhone. Now when sanitizing this device, it's important to use alcohol content higher than 60%. You can also use a Lysol wipe, or you can use an alcohol prep pad, or even hand sanitizer. Now since this device is touched more by your hands than your faces, it's important to keep this clean. You'll want a microfiber cloth, or a towel, or something that's not abrasive. We're not going to be applying the solutions directly to the device. Instead, we're going to be putting it on the cloth, and then going around the device. Using your Lysol wipes, dab a little just enough to make it slightly moist. On the screen of the phone, you wanna be extra careful not to get into the speaker hole. Smooth circles, tiny smooth circles around the areas. Stay away from the charging port. Go up and down the sides on the buttons, a little bit on the speakers. Remember, a little bit of dampness goes a long way around the sides. And the very important part is the back of the phone. Don't be afraid to double dip if you need more sanitizer. If you have a cover, you may want to remove it to clean the back of the phone and then the cover separately. Again, this can be used with Lysol wipes or Clorox or any type of disinfecting wipe that brags about 99% and such. You can also just use a hand sanitizer. Same principle, dab it on a little bit. It's important to make sure once you're done cleaning, that you go ahead and give everything a nice clean polish. Next, we'll be moving on to your mouse. Same principle applies, except we can use a little bit more. We can make it extra damp. Bigger surface area, not too much to worry about on the top. Let's give it a good rubbing. When you get to the bottom, you want to be careful. You have a laser peripheral there. You don't want to obfuscate this laser. And you want to make sure that you're steering clear of where the batteries go. Last, we have our keyboard. For the keyboard, you're gonna really get this, this rag real moist. Get a lot in there. With a keyboard, you don't need to be too worried. Just make sure you're not getting large pockets. Go real gentle at first, as if you were playing some type of instrument that you would play in a gentle manner. Real gentle. Then when you see that you have an even spread, go a little bit harder. Don't be afraid to use the entire rag for this. It's best to let this sit upside down when you're done, just to make sure nothing leaks in. Don't forget the cord. We touch the cord a lot and we don't realize it. And if you're working remotely, you may need to do the adapter as well. Last, we're going to be doing a laptop. General laptop with a touch screen. The keyboard as well connects to the main circuitry. So you want to be extra careful when applying any type of solvent. You can rub off the coating that keeps it safe. And then you won't be able to click anymore or move your finger around. Using the same rag, it's already damp. Put a little bit more on there. Just a little bit more. Notice, still using one Clorox wipe. We have a nice damp rag, and we're gonna start on the keyboard here. Real gentle. We don't want anything getting inside. And then you can go in between the keys. Take your finger, get in the cloth, go inside the keys. On the touchpad, real quick, just a quick brush, and then you want to dry it, the dry side of the rag. 
We should be avoiding touchscreens at the moment, but in case of a, a rogue sneeze or you feel the urge to touch the screen, you want to take the rag and with the least damp area, real, real quick, and then dry it real quick. And then avoid touching the screen until you're healthy. Now that we finished the do's, we're going to move on to the don'ts. You have a container with alcohol that is at least 60%. And you just fill the container. Because anything less than 60% isn't going to help you here. Hand sanitizer is at 62%. It's also recommended that you don't mix alcohol with your hand sanitizer because of the dilution ratio. Before we move on to the most drastic measure in the don'ts category, I'd like to address this can of compressed air. To avoid your canned air and dusters. Now we do get equipment back in the IT department that is a little worse for wear. And in those cases, you might be thinking, We'll just throw that right into the alcohol. It's over 60%. It should clean it out. Mouse, that can go too. And the keyboard. We wanna make sure everything gets clean. And because we're following our guidelines, it will get clean. It just won't be very useful afterwards. Now when we get these laptops back and there are certain items caked onto the keyboard, we really wanna want to get the rag maximum absorption here. It can be it can be sopping wet at this point and you're going to use two fingers this time. You want to go into the keyboard and and really just clean clean it clean it like there's no tomorrow. You really want to get underneath those keys around those keys because they're just at 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 this point you Two fingers, two fingers is good enough, and and, and a lot of cleaning solvents. Uh, you, you really just go to town on it, and uh, either way, it's better off than the condition in which you got it in, in, in many cases. Oh, one quick note, the webcam, you don't need to worry about cleaning that, you can just go over that with a soft cloth. Thank you. And that's been keeping it clean. Dr. Pancakes. He's not a real doctor. Dr. Pancakes. He's not a real person. Dr. Pancakes. He's just doing the best he can. Dr. Pancakes. With the information at hand.